Hey YouTube, I'm here with another mock. This time it's a jack-o'-lantern mock. It's going to be in time for the 2012 Halloween season. And I'm going to go over it with you. I built it yesterday and I was really happy with how it came out because um, i had been having in mind to try to build uh, a jack-o'-lantern I, I can use as a decoration um, out of the uh, Lego pieces. And I got together all my orange I could find, and it was hard. I had this is a mixture of two by twos, um, some thin pieces, uh, one by one by ones, and just I had to get all the orange together and things. I don't know why I always get hiccups every time I do a dumb review, but <sighs> piss me off. Anyway, here's the detail from the front triangular eyes, um, big gap teeth, the bottom are pointed, and these are like just translucent accents because it does have a light up feature. So I'll show you the base. It, the pumpkin can be removed from the base too, I just want to set it on like a little grass patch. So I've used, camera went out of focus, there we go. So I've used uh, grass pieces here and little jack-o'-lanterns that you can find in Hagrid's hut and also um, the top here also the top here is pumpkin leaves and this is a stem and the top does come off we also this uh, I'll quickly review the um, witch head box that's available right now. It's set um, 40032. And it's the witch candy box or whatever. It's pretty cool. It's got a hook nose, green skin, a couple of red eyes, some cap, shiny teeth. It's a blonde haired witch, and her hat is the actual container top. And if you go like this, you see the space inside. You can put some like wrapped candies in there. Be a cool gift. And a little decoration to like, keep on your desk. Keep a few candies in it if you want. It's really cool. It's what is the piece count? 71 pieces. And I ordered this from Lego, if in case you're wondering. And I think you get them in the store. Actually, I know you get them in the store too, but. I just ordered this one. So that's that head. Back on the mock. So I showed you the detail in front. I'm going to take off the lid now. So take the lid off. If you, I try to construct a strong lid so when I pull the stem so that way it would come off. But this is the lid. It's really sturdy. This is what it looks like underneath. You can pretty, pretty much grip it up by the lid, but it's kind of hard. It does uh, secure very well with the stud, so you can kind of help it with your nail, scoop it up. It's the lid to the jack-o'-lantern. Now, if we look inside, we'll see... Um, Okay, if we look inside, you'll see how it looks constructed in the inside. And in the middle, I've got a candle. I'll take that out. This is to a candle mock. I know it's got a big flame. I just wanted to use it for effect. So that's the flame inside the candle. And here's what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell that here is a ledge. And there's some translucent bricks there. So, and back here, there is my setup for the uh, light. So that's what the rim looks like inside of the pumpkin and jack o' lantern. 
it's really cool. Um, put the candle back in and see how that sets in. It's one of my coolest mocks I ever built, in my opinion. And it's a decoration type, which is really cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to crack my knuckles on camera. Some people, that gets annoying. So, put the lid on. I won't press it all the way. But the feature is it lights up. And if I turn it around, you'll see the button. And there it is. I've made the button a spider. So it just doesn't look like a plain, like, you know, plunger or something. This way it looks like a garden spider, maybe. And I liked... Uh, this translucent green one, the way it ca catches light, so if you press it, it turns on the light. So I'll demo that for you right now. Rotate it. I'll turn off all the lights. The sun's almost down here, but it's not all the way down. Okay. Much darker in my room. No lights on the TV and I'm gonna press the spider and you see the pumpkin glow you can basically make out the eyes the two teeth the gap teeth and these translucent accents there that are in the mouth for effect in the center there in the back is the actual candle looking thing. I'll try to lift it more. Like that. I'm going to use my flashlight. This is the button. And the spider can spin whichever direction you want. It's just really, really cool with the light up feature and being a jack o' lantern. Get the lights on. Now, room light. Okay, so I showed you the light up feature. And the lid comes on and off, and the pumpkin can also detach from the base. It's its own entity. I built it separately. <clears throat> Excuse me. This piece here and this piece here are just on there for a stand to stand it to the grass, so it wouldn't secure the the base of the pumpkin to the base of the um, grass. This is it free its own deal and you can just I use these as like a pedestal to secure it oops grass patch to the grass patch and I'll display it for Halloween you can go like that and if you have little um, pumpkins around you can oops, I'm out of frame and if you have little pumpkins around, you can uh, decorate it completely. Um, the patch, however you want, the grass patch. And it'll look like those are little ones. And it's big. I also made, I forgot to show you some. Let's see if you recognize these. Simulation. Candy. Um, see if anyone recognizes what this is supposed to be. I attempted to make some candy corns. <laughs> These are like the more traditional candy corn. The small base, the big orange center, and then the white tip. I've got two of those because I only had two solid orange cones, believe it or not, that I could find. So, candy corn. These are traditional. Okay, um, these ones, these ones are made of the same colors, just translucent. 
the tip is clear, the end is yellow or trans, like the bright yellow, but the middle is a trans orange cone, and I had three that I found, so I made three of those kind of candy corns. And these are the wild ones. Candy corns, I've never seen like this. Okay, this one's got the white tip, the middle is green, and the other um, end is blue. That's that wild candy corn. And this one is a solid red. It's a cherry one, I guess. Completely cherry. So, my candy corn. These can either, you can like pretend to feed this guy. Put it in his mouth like that. Or, you can take your witch and place your imitation Lego candy inside the witch. And fill it up with Lego candy corn. So, I'm already having fun with Halloween season and going through my pieces and trying to make something to bring, make me feel, you know, like fall is coming in. And this really did it. Really, um, I got that make a jack o' lantern craving out, and there it is. Uh, could, please thumbs it up, please, for the gap tooth pumpkin. I've never seen one before. But I like how it came out. It's like Spongebob teeth. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Um, uh, I really don't have a tutorial on it, but I think one would be awesome. It'd take forever because I just was, you know, signing, designing it as I built. This is Pumpkin, uh, Jack-O-Lantern Pumpkin V1, version 1. So, for a V1, I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments, guys, and happy early Halloween. Alright, see you later, guys. Bye.